ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the dyson sphere program my name is tom and this is episode number 68 in today's episode we are going to be exploring the rest of the solar system and then we'll be heading back to merrick 2 to begin automating high purity silicon so we can get that into the system so with that said guys let's get started with episode number 68 Okay, so let me take you on a tour of Markab 1. And what I did off screen is I placed down two ILS and I put, I placed some space warpers, um, hydrogen fuel rods, and I got all of the silicon ore inside of the ILS. And just down south here, I laid down the hydrogen fuel rods. And so if I click on the Tesla tower, you can see we're doing really good with the power. And then what I did is place down all of the PLSs to extract and store the high purity silicon or just the silicon ore. Um, and, and transport that back to the ILS over here. So I did two ILS. I think that should be enough to transport the ores to Merrick 2 if it's uh if it puts a strain on the system then uh we'll add more so let's go explore the rest of the planets in this uh solar system and then i will say my goodbyes and we can begin automating hyperdrive silicon Okay, so um, we have a Markab 2. Let's go there. And uh, here we are at uh, Markab 2. And what a interesting planet. Um, <laughs> what is this? It's a savanna. Okay, and it offers 11 million coal. That's pretty good. It has good wind energy ratio. Some organic crystal. Okay. And uh, so it is a savanna. So let's take a, a look at Markab 2 and walk the surface. And um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this planet. It, um, it's pretty barren and desolate. It's cool that it has this kind of green, saturated, you no, know, bleached. I don't know what the term I'm looking for. Um, the color has been kind of mute, muted. That's what I'm trying to, to get to. Oh, wait, this is cool, though. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Oh, they have cactus. It has cactus. Okay, mad respects to this planet. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, fair enough. Um, A lot of cactus. What do we get if we harvest it? Uh, we get a bunch of litter. So let's place these guys back in. Oh, shoot. Let's try that again. Oh, it's plant fuel. Okay. Eight plant fuel. All right. Fair enough. Okay, I've seen enough here. It's a it's a it's a pretty cool planet. But after I've been exposed to Markab one, everything looks a bit more dull. But I do like it, though. So there is Markab 3 over here. Crap. <laughs> um, autopilot uh, error calculation. 
Okay, and um, hello there, Mark Cav Three. And we have entered orbit. And what do you have to offer me? Ooh, you got some fire eyes, kimberlite ore, and optical grading crystal. Has really good wind and wind energy ratio. Okay. Okay, so I've actually been to this type of planet in the Ela Crab star system. Yeah, the fo the frozen tundra. So, yep, I've seen this type of planet. It seems like a pretty common planet amongst the red stars. But look at Markab 1 just suspend in space and all that blue. Oh, it lo looks so beautiful. Okay, so let's head back to Merrick. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Merrick 2, which is our smelting planet. And so uh, take care, Mark Hab star system. We will be back. And here we go, guys. Warp travel is becoming more normal. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> so I think the, um, the titanium ingot and the high purity silicon ingot are the same ratios. So it should be a pretty easy build. Ooh, we did it this time, guys. All right. So here we are. Let's expand the mining planet even more. <laughs> and look at this Mohawk of ILS systems here. All right, so let's take a look at the ratios for the high purity silicon. Okay, so it's a two to one and this is a two to one. Okay, excellent. That's super convenient. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste what we have here. But I think we're to do it up north. I mean, I, I could I could do it over here. But I feel like I should give it give it this the high purity silicon its own grid. I don't know if that's the right thought, but I would like to put it up here. Wow, that's a really tight grid. Oh, I use... Okay, I use the magnets for that grid. Okay, fair enough. Alright, well, um, I guess we're going to have to do it over here, guys. I'm actually going to face the other way to do this. And let's hide any resources we have here so they do not get in our way. Okay. And so I'm going to control C and control V and let's paste it right here okay and I'll hit control V again and I'll place another one right here and so yeah let's allow the drones to build this and then I will bring in the ILS into the inventory to, to build these in the meantime, we can change the filters. Like that.
Okay. And then we can simply copy and paste this. I love it when builds are this easy, guys. And the great thing is, is this will be a blueprint that is saved forever. So the next time I do play this, it'll just be that much more easier. Um, why is there two sorters on here? What's going on? There should be two sorters. Okay. Weird. Clearly, uh, that was my fault. But I don't know why it was my fault. Because I didn't see what I did. Okay. Good, and then this is... Oh, this is not extra product. Okay. Okay, this is production speed up. So yeah, we got to set this to production speed up. And we could do the same on this side. Cool. And could we actually copy this and paste it over here? Yes, we can. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. And production speed up is set. Okay, and we could just paste this across. Like that. Okay. And so what I will do here is I will say I want one ILS, place that in there, it'll build it. And then I will say nope and yes. And I'll say a remote demand, please. And uh, yeah, perfect. And then I'll right click and hit one and there we go sweet and so what we need to do is give this some power right Okay. Do we have to change these filters? I think we do. Like this. All right, let's do it for this one too. Do I need to place warpers in here for them to go to the other star system? Yes, I should probably call in warpers then. So let's set a hundred. Do we have warpers here? No. We'll do remote demand. And we'll do the same for this one. Remote demand. Okay, excellent. And so all of these logistic vessels can use the warp to, to get to each planet. Okay. 
And so there you have it, guys. We are automating high purity silicon. And eventually that's going to give us, it's going to give us one full belt or two full belts, I think. We are struggling with some here. So we may need to add another another ILS. Hmm. Once this catches up though, it should balance itself out. Okay. Look at the demand of the silicon. It's being taken away immediately. Do we have anything up here? Okay, yes. How is the energy exchangers looking? Are they at the max? No, they're not even using all 45 megawatts. They're only using 12.2. So everything is looking good here. I mean, yeah. These guys are not even close to being maxed out. And if I took a, a gander, look at how many we have in here, guys. This is charge accumulators that we have stored in here. It's wild. What are these guys? We'll delete you for now. Yeah, so we're definitely... Okay, so here come the vessels. Okay, they're bringing a full... Wow, that's a lot. And so now this one's coming too. All right, that looks a lot better. If we zoom out here, we can see that they're going all the way over here to Markeb. And then they're landing on Markeb 1 for the silicon ore. And yeah, we got this beautiful line of vessels grabbing the ore. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Let's take a look. Let's just watch when they come. Oh, here they are. They're over here, guys. Here they come. Boom. Look at them go. <laughs> this is so cool. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And so they are landing on the North Pole. And they're grabbing the silicon ore. <laughs> so cool. Okay. And then those are going to take off again, right? With more silicon ore. They're going to get out of the orbit. And then they're going to do the warp. Look at them go. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, we, we just can't keep up with the demand. We can't keep up. So... We either need more upgrades or we need to add more ILS. Maybe we need more vessels to warp. Okay, let's go back to uh, Markab. And we'll take a look at um, adding another ILS. I mean, we are clearly far superior in speed compared to the vessels. I forgot to set the in in indicator for Markab 1, but I think 
It's this guy right here. Oof. Okay. Good. Yeah, we got plenty of silicon in here, so we need another ILS, I think, guys. Maybe two more. Oh, we have some power issues. <laughs> yeah, the power is pretty bad. Okay, fair enough. Well, dude, we got so much hydrogen and fuel rods, we can we could do big builds. So I'll hit demand on silicon ore. Okay. Local demand. Let's uh, do some space warpers. Local supply and just set a hundred. Okay. Can we copy the setting from here to there? Okay. So local demand, we have no power. So let's give this power. Okay, so now it has power. And so it's getting a silicon ore and then um, let's set some space warpers here. Local demand and our power goods gotta be <laughs> so bad. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get some more hydrogen fuel rods in here. Okay. How's that? Probably doing no good. Like the numbers are moving so quickly, guys. It's just frozen. I mean, look at this. Is this a glitch? <laughs> it's just they're all charge. They're all trying to charge up all at one time. <laughs> what? What have I done? It's a busy planet for sure. Well, look, once we get all the high purity silicon sorted out and stored up, everything will, will go back to normal. I hope anyway. <laughs> okay. I don't know, guys. Look how our miners are crying. Let's, I, I guess, set more, more of these guys down. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. I should have listened to my viewers. <laughs> That's right, guys. I gotta do. I gotta learn things my way sometimes, and um, that means I, I do appreciate all the feedback that I get from you guys and. I do my best to listen and potentially incorporate those ideals into the playthrough. I mean, they can't even grab. Oh, did I not? Okay, let's try that again here. Okay. How are we looking now? We're getting there, guys.
Okay. Dude, this is massive. Look at this. This is one section of the planet that it's taken up right now. We're at 80%. We're producing over 200 megawatts. These guys are just keep charging because we're using so many drones to, to get the silicon ore over here. Okay, I think that's sufficient for now. So let's head back to the smelting planet and see how we are doing on the silicon ore, the high purity silicon ore. Or the high purity silicon. There we go. I got it. Oof. Look at them all go. <laughs> okay. Let's do this and. I want to aim at this guy. There we go. Uh oh, are we going to run out of energy? Guys, I think we're going to just barely run out of power. Crap. Okay. It looks kind of cool from this distance, though. Okay, uh, can we warp? <laughs> that really didn't work. Oh, boy. Rookie, mo rookie move here, guys. Sorry. It's only 6.6 .6 AUs, but I think I'm pointing at the wrong planet. I don't want Roman Roman. I want this guy right here. There we go. Uh, okay, so we're just playing a waiting game right now. Look at them all go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay. Crap, I missed it. And I can't turn because I don't have any more energy in the chamber. Okay, so we just got to let it generate just a bit here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and let's take a look at the system over here. Okay, so it is starting to build up here, but we are consuming 600. This is looking pretty good. Excellent, and if I take a look at our stats panel here and I say entire star cluster, and I'll set this to a minute, let's take a look at it. And uh, yeah, look at this production, guys. 4,270. And the consumption right now in the entire star cluster is only 932 a minute. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. That is the episode. Before I head out here, let's take a look at what we need for the structured matrix, because that is the next path that I want to go down. Um, 
Oh, it's the gravity matrix. And so we need the graviton lens. We have those already automated, but we're probably going to have to scale that build up quite a bit. And if we have to scale that build up quite a bit, we have to scale up a bunch of prerequisites, materials and components. And then we got these blue futuristic looking chips. The quantum chip. The quantum chips needs, I think these are plane filters or no, it's the wave function or yeah, the plane filter. So we need the plane filter and then we need these blue glass. The blue glass. Is this this guy? High strength. Okay. We need titanium glass and we also need casimir crystals. Oh my goodness, this is a huge chain. Dude, this is gonna take a while. Okay. What if I bring up the factorial lab here? And if I say I want some structured matrix. And I want... How about we actually change this to quantum chip and I want one belt of quantum chips and this would be an MK3 an MK2 and a proliferator MK3 speed up so it would require 90 factor 90 of these 90 machines to give me one full belt of this. 90 machines of the processors, 30 of the circuit boards, 120 of the arc smelters, 360 plane filter, 120 Casimir crystals, 120 titanium crystals. 176 orbital collectors, <laughs> 150 titanium glass, 240 glass. This is ridiculous. Should we do it, guys? <laughs> Should I do this? I think that's a little too much, guys, but maybe I need to think big. Maybe we need to go large. Maybe this is getting over my head over it. This is, man, I mean, how many episodes would this take to get this? Five to 10 episodes to do all this? We'd have to start from the bottom and go all the way up. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I, I, feel, like, uh, I feel like taking this on, but maybe it's too much. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe sh I should cut it to a half a belt. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I get any feedback from it. If I don't, then I'll, I'll kind of think off camera and I'll make my mind up. So guys, with that said, um, yeah, we're going to we're, we're going to the gravity matrix for sure. And we want to unlock that miner. Um, yeah, I, uh, boy. I like challenges, but maybe it's too soon for it. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode number 68. And uh, in an episode 69, uh, we'll see what, what we'll do. I'm not sure, but we're going to head towards the gravity matrix. So you guys take care. Have a good day there, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care and uh, goodbye.